What if I told you the U.S. has missiles so fast they can strike from one side of the planet to the other? Before radar even knows they're coming, what if a single launch could end a war before it begins? From sea to sky, from darkness to daylight, America's missile arsenal doesn't just defend, it dominates. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into the world of military tech, war machines, and battlefield innovation. Today's episode, From Tomahawk to Hypersonic Hell, the U.S. arsenal that terrifies the world will take you inside the firepower that's rewriting the rules of modern warfare. Strap in. This one's going to be explosive. It starts with a whisper and ends in a thunderclap. The Tomahawk cruise missile, a legend born in the Cold War, perfected for the digital age. Flying just a few meters above the Earth's surface, it hunts its prey with satellite precision and the silence of a ghost. The Tomahawk can strike from over one 600 kilometers away, launched from destroyers, submarines, or even stealth platforms. It doesn't need to fight its way in. It slips past defenses, unseen, unheard, and unstoppable. Each tomahawk is a story of American engineering, a weapon that thinks, adapts, and corrects mid-flight. It maps the terrain, hugs the earth, and adjusts its course like a living predator. Its guidance systems combine GPS, terrain contour mapping, and infrared seekers, turning every launch into a guided nightmare for whoever stands at the other end. But that's just the beginning. Because the Tomahawk was yesterday's benchmark, and today, the future screams at Mach 5. The U.S. is moving beyond traditional warfare, where distance means safety. Hypersonics are erasing that line, bringing fear back into the heart of every command center. What once took hours now takes minutes. The enemy doesn't even have time to blink. Imagine a weapon that travels faster than sound, not once, but five times faster. That's the hypersonic revolution. The United States has poured billions into developing boost, glide, and scramjet-powered systems, missiles that fly so fast and maneuver so unpredictably that no defense system can stop them. These aren't science fiction. They're already being tested. The ARRW's air launched rapid response weapon and the SAWC's hypersonic air breathing weapon concept are designed to hit anywhere, anytime. The target, strategic deterrence. The message, don't even think about it. When a hypersonic missile launches, there's no warning siren, no time to hide. Within minutes, it's across continents, too fast for interceptors, too agile for radar locks. It glows white, hot as air friction tears around its frame, a spear of plasma racing through the stratosphere. This isn't just speed, it's dominance. It means a future where wars are decided before they even begin. In the silence of command centers around the world, you can hear the fear, because when America finishes perfecting hypersonics, there won't be a safe corner left on this planet. But while speed rules the skies, something else lurks beneath the waves, silent, patient, and devastatingly powerful. Miles beneath the ocean, deep in the black silence, the Trident TID-5 missile waits. Carried aboard U.S. Ohio-class nuclear submarines, it represents the deadliest form of deterrence ever built, a weapon designed never to be fired, yet feared by every nation. Each Trident missile can carry multiple nuclear warheads, each capable of hitting a different target. The submarine stays hidden, unseen by radar, unheard by sonar, waiting for a single order. When it launches, the world changes in an instant. The missile bursts from the sea, breaks the sound barrier within seconds, and climbs toward space. It arcs across the atmosphere, re-entering Earth at hypersonic speeds, unstoppable, merciless. The trident isn't just a weapon, it's a message carved in steel. We can strike back, anytime, anywhere. It ensures that no matter what happens on land or air, the balance of power remains in America's hands. That's why adversaries stay cautious, because under every ocean wave, 
could be a nightmare waiting to rise. And while the seas belong to Trident, the skies are ruled by another legend, stealth bombers carrying weapons so advanced that even the future seems to struggle keeping up. High above the clouds, invisible to radar, the B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider soar, silent, black arrows of death carrying America's deadliest payloads. Their job? To deliver precision strikes anywhere on Earth without ever being seen. Equipped with JASM ER and LRASM stealth cruise missiles, these aircraft are the definition of modern warfare, merging stealth range and intelligence into one terrifying package. The JSM Joint Air to surface standoff missile can fly more than 900 kilometers, skimming terrain, hunting targets, and striking with pinpoint accuracy. The LRASM, its anti-ship variant, can locate and destroy moving vessels on its own using onboard AI and sensor fusion to think mid-mission. These aren't dumb bombs, they're hunters with brains. Once released, they vanish from radar, adjust their course using encrypted data links, and hit with surgical precision. Together with stealth bombers, they form the first wave, the strike that blinds and disables an enemy before the main force even arrives. In every modern conflict simulation, the pattern is clear America wins not through brute force, but intelligent destruction, a combination of stealth, sensors, and smart firepower that leaves enemies fighting shadows. But while the world looks up in fear, the real evolution of war might not be what flies, but what thinks. The next generation of missile warfare is being born in labs where AI and quantum computing meet military innovation. Imagine missiles that learn mid-flight, adjust to jamming, reroute through chaos, and strike anyway. That's not the future, that's now. The U.S. military's new research focuses on autonomous targeting, AI-assisted pathfinding, and real-time battlefield mapping. This means missiles that can prioritize threats, share data with drones, and even coordinate in swarms. Picture dozens of mini-missiles flying together, communicating, adapting, like a pack of digital predators. These smart weapons don't just destroy, they outthink the enemy, they use radar reflections, electronic countermeasures, and decoys to confuse defenses, then strike from blind angles. The Pentagon calls it cognitive warfare. The world calls it terrifying. And it's not limited to the air. Tanks, jets, and ships are being equipped with AI-driven defense systems that can fire interceptors automatically. Every missile launch is being met with counter-missiles, lasers, and directed energy weapons. The future of war isn't just who fires first, it's who learns faster. The line between man and machine has blurred, and in this new race, hesitation is defeat. Every advancement brings a question, how far can humanity go before the weapons outgrow their masters? From tomahawk precision strikes to hypersonic terror, from nuclear deterrence under the sea to AI, guided destruction in the sky, the United States stands at the edge of a new era. Each missile, each system, each launch carries not just firepower, but philosophy. It's not just about war, it's about dominance, deterrence, and the illusion of peace through overwhelming strength. But behind every test and every launch, there's a heartbeat, a reminder that technology is only as moral as the hands that wield it. The world watches, nations prepare, and somewhere, deep underground or far above the clouds, another missile waits for a signal that everyone prays never comes. Because when from tomahawk to hypersonic hell becomes a battlefield reality, it won't be a movie. It'll be a moment history can't forget. So, if you want to stay connected to the truth behind the tech, the updates, the weapons, and the future that's unfolding faster than ever, smash that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe so you never miss what's coming next. Stay alert, because in this world of modern warfare, the next breakthrough might already be flying above you.